Praise the Lord, everyone, and happy Sunday. I hope your Sunday is off to an amazing start. And if it's not, just take some time out and pray and watch it change or change your perspective because that is what prayer does. I know I say it all the time, but sometimes we just need those simple reminders. Amen. And as always, let's get started with the prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. I thank you, God, for this day that you have given unto us, Lord. I just pray, God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be found acceptable in thy sight for you are my strength and my redeemer i bless and i praise you oh god in jesus christ's name amen and amen praise the lord i hope that your uh sunday is going well but i just want to come on here for a quick second and i want to encourage you to do some reflecting on your life um as you get ready to enter into the new year there were things that were done before the children of uh, god the israelites were able to take on the promised land they had some preparation to do there was a meal that was prepared there were different steps that they had to take before they started their journey into the promised land and i just want to encourage you as we go into 2024 as the lord see fit I want you to analyze 2023. What was the thing that hindered you the most in your spiritual growth with God? Was it was it sloth? Was it um you know, was it greed? Was it anxiety? Was it depression, which all falls under heaviness? Um, you know, what 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 was it that kept you from doing the things of God? You know, what derailed you? Was it people? Was it places? Was it um, time? Was it things? You know, what did you spend a lot of time doing that you know that if you could have gone back, you would have did things differently? It's so important to reflect because if you don't reflect, you repeat. And as we go into this new year, and we have to think of it as a promise. If the Lord see fit for us to go into 2024, it is it is a promise. It's, it's a blessing from the Lord, right? And because it's a blessing for the Lord, we should not take it for granted. So that we should take out and carve out some time to spend with the Lord. You know, sometimes we can get caught up with holiday things. We can get caught up with um, work and uh, deadlines and all of these things. But do not forsake your time with God. I just want to encourage you to make sure you get before him ask him what do you want me to do to prepare to enter in 2024 because remember God knows our adversary and he knows what he is going to try to do to derail us so it's so important that we ask him God what is it that you want me to do to prepare for 2024 do you want me to fast do you want me to consecrate do you want me what is it that you want me to do what, what do you and, and I mean those are things we should do anyway but there may be strategic steps to it you know, the worst thing we can do is get into a place of religion. We can get into a place of doing things as a checklist for God or doing things out of obligation and not love for him. Make sure that your love for him stays fresh, stay renewed. You know, renew your mind this December. Renew your mind by the word and the washing of the word. Get before him. Get the instructions. Do what it is that he has called you to do. I have my own personal trials and tribulations that I'm going through, but I'm like, God, I know that these storms are coming because whatever is in 2024 is greater so i just want to encourage you to be blessed and to seek the lord and close out strong be blessed and have a wonderful day